Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we, um, well, we played as Peach and Bowser and found out some stuff. Like, uh, what the x knots plan to do and what Bowser's been up to. And in this episode, we're gonna do, um, well, we're gonna do some side stuff with Mario. I can't believe it was the fake Mario all that time. We were all fooled. I'm so sorry, Mario. After all you've done for a talent, did we hurt your feelings? Maybe a little. Nah, not really. You're a bigger man than I, Mario. Such fortitude. You're a true hero. You've brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. Hey, Mario. We need to get back to Rogueport, right? Let's go. Please come back to visit anytime you like. So, yeah. Um... A uh, couple things before we go uh, to um, go to uh, what do you call it? Back to Rogueport. Um, not really necessary to do now. Could have done this before. Uh, let's get our party. Uh, eh, let's get Roger out. Um, go over here. I'm gonna get a one of our in coupons. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Yeah, all right. I get one of the in coupons. All right. Because there's actually an interesting thing with the in in this uh, area. So I didn't show it off um, before, which I probably should have. But if we go here. Fresh, uh, like, uh, tin coins, sure. But, uh, curious thing, anyway. Yeah, sure. I have an in coupon. Yeah, I'll use the in coupon. So, if we use the, well, not specifically if we use the in coupon, but if we rest here, this in, you notice know, so over there on the left hand side, we get a special item. And we get a peachy peach. Now, each time you come here and uh, rest, you will get a Peachy Peach, which is a very, very nice um, thing. And uh, Peachy Peach is used in some recipes, and um, yeah, some recipes and Zesty can make some good stuff with that. So, pretty much right away, oh, uh, well. Hey, Gonzalez, listen up. This must be an e blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Email from Cheech. Pe Cheech. My dear Mario, I have finally returned, uh, finally not returned, learned what the legendary treasure is. It is the spirit of a demon. The Xnox plan to revive this thousand year old monster and use its power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand year door. They'll find this demon spirit, but the, uh, wait. Oh, okay. But the only thing, um, that can keep it locked away is the crystal stars themselves. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Mario, you must put a stop to their horrible plans. Peach. A an ancient demon spirit? Sheesh, that doesn't sound good at all. Alright. Um. Actually, while we're while we're wrapping up the chapter, I might as well get that uh, extra enemy um, that I couldn't find before. So I'm just going to cut to it now. So yeah, see you guys then. All right, here we go. So, I uh, probably should have been out already, but tattle on the Maisy Daisy. You'll notice, that's an Maisy Daisy. It's a mystical, uh, mystical daisy. This mystical daisy is like the rarest thing ever. Such HP is 20, attack is 20, and defense is one. This is such HP, it runs away really quickly. It's almost impossible to beat. Plus, this lullaby has massive attack, attack power, so if we're low on HP, we need a scram. You gotta think hard about whether it's fight or bolt. And it just runs away. So yeah, that's what it does most of the time, it just runs away. So, I'm not sure how much XP it gives, but it's probably a, a crap ton of XP. Um, so yeah. You can do like a very a super perfect power bounce, maybe, and like have, I like could do like a super perfect head boink, 
or something, maybe you'd have a chance, but overall, not really worth it to uh, go out of your way for these those guys. Anyway, just gonna this up. So I'll see you guys in Rogueport. All right, we're back here. Um, uh, what do we do? What do we do? Ah, not attacking. Um, okay. So there are there's like one thing we can get with um with the uh, what do you call it? Uh, with the new power we got. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just one thing. Um, I think it's this house. If we go in this house. Oh, it's the other house. That's right. If we go in this house. Yeah, this is it. And you can see this little kind of slot looking thing here. Up here on top of the stairs. I think. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't think you need Flurry. Yeah, you just roll through it and get to this backyard. Where are we going to shine sprite? Um, let me see. I don't think there's anything else here. And to get back, just gotta roll up and go through here. <laughs> Pop out the drawer for some reason, which is kind of kind of weird. Um, but yeah. Uh, aside from that, I don't think there's really. Oh, oh! I almost forgot of our about our bro. Where is he at? An email. What is that? What is the email? Tell me. Show it to me. Bulber, Jolie, and Pinty Jr. Dad's job. Uh, takes care of Boo Boo. Whatever. Alright. Let's see what you got. Timing Tutor? And Hammerman. Alright. Good to know. Good to know. Where is Luigi? Might be down at the docks. Yeah, so we'll just talk to Luigi and end off the episode there. If we can ever find him. See what he's been up to. I'll take a couple of minutes. Let's see, where is he at? Well, that dude's gone. Oh wow! Look at this new ship. Um, where is where is Luigi? Hmm. I might have to cut it because this episode. Well, I mean, this episode's just gonna be like a whole lot of nothing anyway. A completely skippable episode, but. Whatever, it's something something that needs to be done. Did I pass him completely? Just like not realize it. We can check our number. Got four three zero four. Like the fir the my first number match. Maybe it needs to be the bottom the back number that matches. Cause I don't know. Luigi around here. Nope. Luigi, where are you, bro? Where's Luigi? Is he just not here? Hmm. Weird. Or maybe he's in the back alley? It's the only place I haven't looked. Oh, wait. No, I know exactly where he is. I'm just being dumb. He is in here. That's right. That's right. I remembered. Well, I headed to Circuit Break Island and got uh, me uh, and got me a piece of a marvelous compass. Well, you wouldn't believe it, bro. Talk about thrills, chills, and spills. It was pretty nuts, bro. You want to hear what happened? Yeah. Sounds good. Circuit Break Island. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. Just as our boat arrived at Circuit Break Island, we heard this incredible racket. We soon found that they hold cart races almost every day on the island. Oh, sounds fun. Whoever takes first place in the um, 
And the rice gets to rule the island as king for that day. Just as we got to... That sounds very, um... Wow, that sounds very, uh, kind of weird. That you put, like, your leadership all on somebody you want to race. Just as we got to the, the, to the racetrack, they were holding the award ceremony. I couldn't believe my eyes right there on the trophy they give to the winner. It was another piece of the marvelous compass. I almost passed dead away. I decided right then and there that the only thing uh, to do was to enter the next race. I mean, I'd driven in car races before, so I thought I'd be okay. Boy, was I wrong. The carts were supercharged machines that could send you airborne with their exhaust. These vehicles were armed with missiles, bazookas, it was anything goes, bro. Of course, I wanted to get out of there pronto. These drivers were crazed. But I worked up my courage and signed up anyway, and my race day finally came. I got one of the best carts, the Big Green 01. I took my position at the start line. The light went green, I stomped on the accelerator, and something bad happened. I was in reverse! The big green zero, uh, oh one went rocketing backwards with me yelling. I crashed in the wall behind me hard enough to cut, cut me off mid-scream. In one fell swoop, I dropped into last place and wrecked my racing machine. But it wasn't all bad news, all the other carts crashed because of my maneuver. Once I got in gear and took off, I was the only car left. I won by a country mile, bro. I took a piece off my trophy uh, and added it to the marvelous compass. The compass came to life and pointed me towards Jazafraz town in the east. Then I heard that voice, Princess Eclair's voice, echoed in my ears again. All my princess random words uh, form poetry if spoken by your voice. I would most definitely save you. Just wait for me, Princess Eclair. Oh, sorry about that, bro. Oh, so, after that, I got back on my boat and came back here to Rogueport, and that's what's been up with me. Man, I really want to play his uh, his adventure now. What do you guys say? Yeah, I'm Torque. I'm, and don't for a second think this dude's telling the whole story. The only reason I lent him my rig was because he got down on his knees and begged. And what happens? He's in for one second before he completely totals it, idiot. I'm not letting this dip out of my sight until he repays me the 5,000 re corn repair costs. Wow. Looks like Luigi's in <laughs> pretty big debt. Um, so on that note, we're gonna end it off here. So, in the next episode, we are going to, um, see what troubles we can do. So, see you guys then.